Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 26th, 2019. So yesterday we had a real light, choppy, indecisive day. The Dow ended up finishing up a whopping 11 cents. And as you can see, just kind of floating out here in midair. Nothing really um, got the market too inspired yesterday. We had, um, I had suggested yesterday that we would likely um, or have a possibility, not likely, but have a possibility of testing the overnight lows in the futures and also testing the um, the overnight highs. And we did exactly that. Um, interestingly enough, we were down testing the overnight lows in the futures at one point, and then we had rallied up to test the overnight highs, finishing just kind of dead solid in the middle on the day. Kind of a, a rough choppy day probably for a lot of folks. Um, not a whole lot of activity um, in, in the market and made for maybe some challenging uh, trading. However, there were some good stocks out there showing uh, good positive signs and we'll talk about those in just a moment. Let's take a quick peek here at what we have going on in this chart. First off, let's do that without any kind of idea as to which way we want the market to go. Let's look at what the chart is telling us, not what we want it to be. So first off, we have to take a look at the diamonds and we have to fess up to the fact that we are currently in a downtrend on the diamonds. Technically, we have a lower high here and a lower high here, and that is a concern in the diamonds. Now, right now, we're looking at a nice gap up this morning. Currently, futures are pointing to about 130 points in a gap up this morning. That's gonna bring us back up into this area, or right up into the, this area. But remember, that does not clear, that does not clear Friday sell-off, and it does not clear this lower high. So we still have to deal with that price resistance above. I know it's a bummer, no one wants to have to, we just want the market to take off and go back up, and I get that. But we have to continue, continue to stay focused on the fact that we are in a downtrend. Any rally up into this area could create that additional lower high. And let's keep in mind, we still have some things that uh, to come out, and I'll talk about those in just a second, come out that could change the way that futures appears. It could get better or worse before we move into the market open. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, the SPY is in a much better situation than the Dow is. Although we have this high up here um, in this breakdown, Please keep in mind that what we uh, at least had the ability to do is we broke above that resistance right in here. So we were technically made that higher high. And this pullback, um, at least at this point, is a higher low, which means uptrend. So in that situation, we have this gap up this morning pushing us back up, you know, right about into here, at least at the moment, that's where it's looking. But please keep in mind that is below all of this price resistance. We must get back above that and prove that we can hold that as support. And once we get through that, we still have the resistance up here that we have to deal with in the SPY. So watch that pretty closely as we push back up there. Now, of course, if we do get that bounce up in here, get a nice bullish candle here today, that would indicate to us a resumption, a possible resumption of uptrend, assuming that we can pop a, um, right on through um, that resistance and break this high. So a um, couple things to consider there, but the SPY is in a much better condition than the Dow. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the Qs is the leader of the market right now, and certainly 
the strongest index um, right now that we're looking at. And as you can see, if we take a look at this chart, we're holding in this nice trend and we made this higher high. So we have lower highs, excuse me, um, higher lows and higher highs constitutes an uptrend. And this pullback that we've experienced here in the market didn't damage the Q's chart technically. We do still have this resistance right here that we have to deal with. And as you can see, um, that resistance is, is substantial. We're gonna have to push through that. And that big, ugly black candle right there certainly um, adds some weight to that resistance. But this morning, we're gapping up this morning. We're holding this price support in here. And if that continues to follow through, um, I would say the NASDAQ is still uh, strongly in the lead of the market if that were to print a nice bullish candle in here and actually gives us an opportunity to um, expect a test, at least a retest of this resistance up here, if not that full break uh, to the upside. So Q is uh, maintaining its leadership to, in the market. Let's take a look at the technicals of IWM, however. IWM really pretty shabby looking um, overall. First off, um, here once again, um, we have a confirmed downtrend with lower highs um, in this market, and this actually broke down, creating a new low. So we are in a full-on uh, downtrend here in IWM. Rallying back this morning, trying to pop back above this little resistance area or support area right here is a good sign. But let's keep in mind, as we rally back up, we want to be focusing in on that possibility of failure. No one wants to have to deal with that. No one wants the diamonds in this and IWM to be showing failure while the other two indexes are showing some technically positive things, but we do have to deal with that, um, like it or not. Remember, our job is to trade the market um, as it is, not what we want it to be. And as we can see, we still have significant technical damage here in IWM that we have to deal with. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX yesterday, um, strong rally early on during the day. And then as we started to pick back up, we can see that VIX kind of settle down here. Now, here's the key part of what I... Uh, have talked about before, there is our price support right now in the VIX. If we were to prove to hold this level as support and start back up, that's where the real damage will occur in the market. We don't want to see that fear really starting to pick up off of this level. So if we pull back into this level, um, and hold it as support. Let's watch that really closely in case um, some of those bears come back in and start defending the upper resistance areas because that could really start to spike the fear here in the market. However, if those bulls do a really good job of, def of pushing things back through, we could sink right back down here below that resistance level. And that's what we want to see. We want to see that fear kind of drop out of the market here. Um, so watch that closely. Um, anything is possible here. Um, and remember, we, even though we're gapping up this morning, we still have the potential of a pop and drop pattern. And that pop and drop is where we gap in the morning and then sell off after that gap up. So that does have possibility, particularly with resistance levels above. So we want to pay attention to that price action. Be careful not to chase into the market this morning, not to just that fear of missing out wells up in all of us as traders oh my goodness i'm going to miss out and we rush and we chase when we shouldn't and if we happen to be chasing directly into price resistance in the market we could experience that gap up and sell off that's not what we want to see so you know just take a quick look i'm going to go to a 15 minute chart and you can see those kind of things um, occur where we get those um, moves um, intraday uh, and 
here's some over here where we started the morning higher and um, where we can start the morning higher with a gap up gap up and then find selling the rest of the day now that's not what we want to occur but certainly the possibility does exist and we have to remember to be careful not to chase entry resistance we have to wait and see what's going on here so let's take a look at t2122 now t2122 that four week new high new low ratio actually gives us a little bit of a clue that the oversold uh, bounce was a uh, you know kind of due um, uh, to occur now we didn't quite make it all the way down into here uh, which would indicate some heavy heavy bearishness but as you can see we're bouncing off of this bullish reversal zone here and um, if that futures um, is correct today we could bounce up here pretty substantially and um, that would be a um, a very common move uh, for the market so um, we are uh, down here in this bullish reversal zone which lends some credence to the market bounce this morning all right let's take a quick look at um, our economic calendar this is where we could run into a little bit of a stumbler today uh, we have a hurdle to cross this morning and that is with the housing starts number the housing starts can be kind of problematic if we happen to miss the consensus estimate today that would certainly add some fuel to the potential uh, fire on um, economic slowdown and we could see the market um, suffer a little bit as a result of that I'm not saying a sell-off but a possibility that that could um, kind of halt this upward uh, sentiment that we have at the moment so keep an eye on that housing starts numbers now of course if it comes in better than consensus consensus so of course that could help the market continue to fire up and move higher here give those bulls some uh, some help in that move keep in mind that we uh, we had some Fed speakers here that we had to deal with but um, other um, items that could move the market around today we have the core logic um, here case Shiller core logic we'll want to keep an eye on that at nine o'clock and consumer confidence here at 10 um, the other reports in here uh, would be unlikely to move us around and um, just a note that we do have another fed speaker here tonight um, to kind of keep an eye on so that housing starts number is going to be key this morning we also have um, um, earnings that we have to deal with this morning and there's about 57 companies 60 companies reporting earnings today um, earnings like uh, Carnival Cruise CCL CCL reporting um, looks like they have missed this morning and are gapping down slightly on CCL so you want to keep an eye on those earnings reports this morning we also have um, Crone if anyone is uh, follows any of these cannabis stocks Crone reporting today so you'll want to keep an eye on that so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor click that subscribe button on YouTube click the follow me button um, on Facebook if you happen to watch the video there click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment that really helps me out a like it a lot um, everyone and, and I truly appreciate everyone who takes the time to do that because it helps the algorithm show these videos to more people thank you so much to those who do and also please feel free to share this video with any friends family out there you know click that share button share it on Facebook share it on Twitter share it on stock twits wherever um, you happen to be uh, share that video uh, that also helps a lot in um, helping to grow the channel and um, getting uh, these videos in front of more people as you can see I, I my, my purpose here is to not make money from these and my purpose is to avoid any kind of idea of predicting um, I just simply want to read the price section of the chart and help everyone do a little bit better job for their preparation for the day so that we approach the market with our eyes wide open for the possibilities that could exist um, uh, based on what price action is showing us
So with that, hey, um, let's take a look at a few charts that might be setting up um, and looking uh, just pretty darn good. Let's take a look. Some of the defensive stocks out there are looking pretty darn good. Take a look at Altria here. MO, MO, nice, holding its trend here. Nice bullish setup here on the day. Look, uh, yesterday, looking pretty darn healthy here. Now, it does have price resistance up here that we have to think about in this chart, a little price resistance resistance up there that uh, Mo's going to have to deal with. But talk about a beautiful trend, a really gorgeous looking chart and um, trending up nicely with a nice signal in that chart. Take a look at um, um, EA. EA is one that I've been watching and you can see my price alert right here. That pink line is my price alert on the chart. EA had a really interesting, um, broke down hard on an earnings report and then buyers just absolutely rejected that low, pushing it back up. It's spent considerable time now pulling back and wandering around in here. And last week fired up big time here with a nice pop. This little rest, little consult consolidating move pulling back here. I want to watch this for that possibility of that next entry into this trade and then possibly the breakout um, of this high. So watch EA. EA is looking pretty good. Same thing in that gaming uh, sector. Take a look at ATVI. If I could type ATVI. Um, ATVI is in a pattern that we call the round and bottom breakout, a very productive pattern and one of the great patterns that we teach uh, hit run candlesticks and right way options. And if you would like to find out more information on that, please let, it, let us know. Uh, this is just one of the most productive patterns, profitable patterns I've ever traded. And as you can see, just crossing above that 50 day moving average and we've created that moving average squeeze right here with our shorter term averages down in this area. An ultimate target on this would be up in this area, up around that um, 200 day moving average. So this light little pullback that we're experiencing right now to hold this support area, we want to watch this in here for that potential, that next entry signal. And we get kind of that confirmation as to uh, the new trend um, in the chart, if that can hold in here. So wait for the buy, wait for the signal, and then we'll start watching to see if we can start uh, popping through these other resistance levels in this chart and gaining some ground here on ATVI. Keep that one in mind. Um, also, take a look at JD. JD. JD is going to be really, really important, you know, on the uh, U.S.-China trade deal. That's going to be important for it. But you can see we have a, a nice bullish uh, candle here yesterday and a pattern that I like to call a Fig Newton. Um, that's where you have a white candle, dark candle, white candle, kind of that Fig Newton cookie uh, pattern. You won't find that in any book. That's mine. But that is a continuation pattern that I've identified that really tends to move a stock um, in uh, that direction higher here on that pattern. So that Fig Newton looks like it has the possibility of pushing us up through there. You can see my price alert on this chart and I'm going to be watching that closely to see if that can break through and start moving higher. So keep an eye on JD. Um, a couple other companies that you might want to keep an eye on that are, could be setting up and again more in that defensive area. Take a look at Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble Nice little tight consolidation in here. Had a hammer pattern drawn, a big hammer pattern drawn uh, last Friday. And um, just a little kind of a resting pattern here um, yesterday. So as this moves over here toward that um, trend, watch for the potential entry into that trade into Proctor. Um, could be a nice, um, simple entry into, um, into that trade. So there's a few stocks for you to put on your list and to watch. Everyone, I want to wish you all the very best today. And if you're struggling, please kind of keep in mind that um, trading is not easy. There's there's nothing about uh, 
learning to trade and getting past that emotional part in, in trading that's very easy. Um, if there's something we can do to help, um, we would sure like to help, but please don't give up on your dream of being a full-time trader or being successful as a trader. Continue to work really, really hard. Continue to study and um, stick with it because believe me, it is worth it. Everyone take care of yourself. Have a great day. I wish you great profits. We'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone. Thank you.